Hey guys, Rachel CPR here. Today I just wanted to share with you an update on what's happening with my search for a new product. And I've received so many fabulous suggestions from you guys and I really appreciate it. You guys really came through for me. I just wanted to very quickly share with you some of the things that I have been trying. What The first thing that I gave a try was the Karen's Body Beautiful product line and this is a fabulous product line. I really love it because all of the ingredients are natural. I absolutely love that about this product line. I even tried the Super Dupa Hydrating Cream which there's no top on this. I have no idea what I did with it. I think it may have fallen into the garbage and that's what the problem is. But anyway, I tried all of these products and they're great. I actually like this one right here on its own. My only problem with this product line for my hair is that it's a little heavy and so I had to constantly um, use my apple cider vinegar to get the weight of the product off because I don't do twist outs I think this will be perfect for twist outs but because I do wash and goes and I don't like for my hair to be super flat this was just a little too heavy for my hair but I love this product line so then I tried one of my staples that actually turned out not to be what I expected was um, my Eco Styler Gel. I tried this because this is something I normally have in my home. I had a really big container that I had been working on for a little while because I don't really use it very often. But um, this was a newer container that I bought and I don't think I've ever had this product flake on me before but it flaked in my hair and in my daughter's hair which was really strange until someone commented in um, my last video just saying that they changed the formula and so and I know this is new packaging but I didn't realize that they had changed the formula and so I had flaking with this and so I guess I have to try to tweak it to see what caused the flaking I don't even think I had this on over anything as much as it flaked in my hair really badly and it flaked in my daughter's hair and normally my daughter does the water only washing method so she was really upset about that she says look at my hair mom my hair looks terrible so that was um an experience but anyway this is something I definitely keep on hand because I mean I just have to okay I have a whole basket down here of things that I've tried. This is a product that I actually made and this is the xanthan gum cream that I make to style my hair with. I actually have that in my hair today and this is a fabulous cream. It's nice and thick and it is mixed with aloe vera gel, coconut oil. Mm, I think that I think that's it in xanthan gum. Oh, and a little bit of olive oil. And I absolutely love this product. This is something I've been making for some time now, but balancing out the xanthan gum so it doesn't flake has been a challenge and so that is why I have not shared the recipe for this. I have one person that asked me um, to share it and so I shared it with her so you probably will see it in the comments of my last video but the only reason why I haven't shared it in a video is because I'm trying to balance out the flaking and of course I overuse everything when I start using something in my hair and so today I'm not seeing any flaking but I don't have on a black top so it's not it may be flaking and I just don't see it in on my clothes because I don't have on a black top. It's so fabulous in the hair. It smooths through your hair so nicely. I did get this, um, just the idea to use the xanthan gum, xanthan gum from Roots For You 45 and that was someone else that a lot of people suggested I watch just to see um, some of her natural gels and I love her to pieces so this was something that I got from her and then I just added some of my own products so this was definitely something that I'm trying to perfect and when I do I will definitely share it with you because I know this is fabulous especially for children's hair because when you re-wet it it actually reactivates it and it gets so slippery through the hair and so you have very little tangles but more on that later um, the other thing that I used, and as you can see, it's all completely used, and this is something that I usually keep this the same as the Eco Styler Gel, is the Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. And this I used a few times, but this doesn't keep me as hydrated as my um, one conditioner. So this is not something that I depend on for hydration as much as it is great for quick detangling and it pairs well with the Eco Styler Gel. Well, it used to anyway. And... Um, so that's why I this is something that I usually keep on hands and I have to replace. What I ended up using in my hair today was my, actually before I even say that, I have this bottle in here and I'm just trying to figure out why did I put this in here. But this is what I have been putting my um, aloe tea in and I don't 
mix it with water when I use it as a styler. I just put my aloe vera in here in some essential oils and then my um, olive oil and a little bit of, I can't use the flaxseed oil anymore. That's what I used to put in it, but um, the, I didn't put it in the last time because of course I'm trying to stay clear of the flaxseed oil. But anyway, this is something I've been putting my aloe tea in and I've been putting it through my hair and it is a great styler when you use it concentrated fabulous styler. This is something that I will definitely continue to use. Um, of course, my staple in my hair is the one conditioner. This, I've been using it in between trying to figure out what I'm going to use. I have been using this um, as my styler. I've just been leaving this in my hair. But today what I used was the one conditioner. I used a little tiny bit of my cream. Like, the amount that I used in my hair, this container right here will last me for maybe 10 washes. This tiny container, that's how concentrated this is, so that it doesn't flake. I sprayed on a little bit of the Set It Free from Diva Curl. And I used the Diva Curl Frizz Free Foam. And I really like this right here. And then I over the top of my hair, I use the Ultra Defining Gel. And if you watched um, any of my older videos when I did a review on this product right here, I said that I didn't really like it. I thought it wasn't too intense for my hair. But something that I've come to learn about this gel is that you can't rake it through your hair. This is a final step after your hair is completely set. You glaze it over the top and it keeps your hair just however it is. It sets it just the way it is and I love it. And if you want to see a demo of that, I don't know um, of if many of you use this product, but if you would like to see a demo of this, this would be fabulous because you really wouldn't have to change anything else in your routine unless, of course, it just uh, isn't compatible with this particular product. But um, this, I just glaze it over the top of my hair and it makes my hair just stay exactly where it is. I get much less shrinkage with this right here because I'm not stretching my hair now. I'm just leaving it however it stands. So after I set my hair, I just fluffed it out so that it can be bigger and that's just it. And I did cut a little bit, but it's, um, <laughs> I mean, that's regular for me. But anyway, this product I'm really in love with. I like the um, Ultra Defining Gel as well as the um, regular product which is called light defining gel now so those are the things that I have been using I have um, one more product here that I wanted to try but well not this product in particular uh, Tracy from aloe for radiant suggested that I use one of Giovanni's can uh, not conditioners but the uh, gels and this was not the one that she suggested I think it was too chic that she wanted me to that she told me that I should try I sent my husband out in a snowstorm to get <laughs> so bad. I sent my husband out in a snow snowstorm to get the gel for me. And when he went into the store, they didn't have the one that I wanted. But then he saw this one, and so he purchased this for me. Although he says, you know, I don't think you're really going to like this because when he got home, he says there are silicones in there. And I thought that was so cute that he actually saw in the ingredients it was something that had um, ended in O N E, so he knew it was a silicone. So I said he was listening. <laughs> Anyway, these are all of the things that I've tried so far. Actually, I have another one. I have no idea where it is. Hmm. But it was a cream that was a little bit too heavy for my hair as well. So I do feel comfortable with what I have right now as far as the um, volumizing foam and the um, set it free. The thing that I really still want to try, though, is the Camille Rose styling products. A lot of people suggested the Camille Rose, but I can't find it. So I said, it must be fabulous because I can't find it. I mean, I searched and searched, and it was just so frustrating. I was out in the cold searching for Camille Rose products. I went to Whole Foods because um, I guess some Whole Foods carry it, but mine does not carry it. And there's only one near me, and then I have to drive about 45 minutes for the next one. So I will obviously have to order that product because I'm, like, super curious about it now. And uh, let's see. I think that's it. So, again, thank you so much for all of your help with this, guys. This was so wonderful, and I am still going to be checking out some more of the products that I was um, recommended, that was recommended to me because I, I think I've... This is a little fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. So anyway, we'll talk to you again very soon, guys. Bye-bye.